look at this, this mountains, endless mountains here. And here we go, we're landing with time. Good evening everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from Miami International Airport. You guys already know it's my second home, and today I'm traveling to my 77th country, Bhutan. If you guys don't know where Bhutan is, it's located in the Himalayas, and it borders China and India, so the Indian states of Sikkim and Assam, and Tibet in China. I'm going to be spending 10 days exploring the culture and natural wonders of Bhutan, including visiting monasteries, experiencing cultural festivals, and going on lots of hikes. I'll also be exploring the incredible food scene at many of Bhutan's best restaurants. The only way to get to Bhutan is by catching and connecting flight in cities like Delhi, Bangkok, Kolkata, Kathmandu, Dubai, Singapore, Guwahati, Dhaka, and a few others. The only two airlines in the world that fly to Bhutan are Bhutan Airlines and Druk Air. Paro Airport is Bhutan's only international airport. It's located 18,000 feet high up in the mountains, which makes it one of the most dangerous airports in the world to try to land at. So because of the challenging terrain, flights to and from Paro Airport are only allowed under strict visible rules. Only a select number of pilots are certified to land there. You can only fly there during the daylight hours. So you ready? Let's go to Bhutan. So after a super, super long 13 hour flight from Miami to Doha, we arrived here at Hamad International Airport. This is like my third home, guys. I've traveled here five times so far in the past like 24 months. I've traveled here like 10 times in my lifetime. I've gone to China through here, Armenia, India four times. I mean, it's just the best way for me to get to Asia, especially like Southern Asia or Africa, Middle East. I mean, it's way, way easier than going around the world the other way, going to the Pacific. When I land in Hamad International Airport, I go straight to the business class lounge. There's two business class I'm just here in Hamad International Airport. I go to the second one because I can get in because I'm platinum with American Airlines, which is like Sapphire with One World. If not, you would have to upgrade to business class to get in here. And if you pay for your business class ticket, then you can get into the better one. The better one is just like huge, a lot more food, a lot more space. This one's very small. I mean, it's just like one big room. They have a dining area, which is where I'm at right now. They have a sleeping room and they have a shower. And every time I come here, I go and I use a shower because I get really refreshed up, right? So you have to bring clothes. I bring extra underwear, socks, and an extra shirt just so I can change and be fresh to go. And yeah, so we're about to board in about 25 minutes. For my flight to Calcutta, it's a five hour flight straight to Calcutta. Wow, it's a long flight. And then once I get there, I have a six hour connection before I have a one, hour, one and a half hour flight to Bhutan. So really, really long. But once I get to Calcutta, I'm gonna have Southern Indian food for breakfast. Can't wait, doses and chai. Let's go board the flight. Oh, and before I forget, gotta put my mask on. Gotta fight the coronavirus. So I arrived here in Kolkata. It was like a four and a half hour flight. Watched the movie, slept, woke up. It's two in the morning and I'm here in Kolkata. And yeah, because of coronavirus, everybody here is wearing masks, every single person. And they actually have like another procedure here. You have to go through another machine. They, they just look at you to make sure like there's like no heat sensors. I don't even know. I just saw the machine it was crazy. And then uh, they also have like two other papers that they fill out to give to immigration because I have to actually connect. I have to like get my bags and everything to get out here and then go straight upstairs and check into my new flight. So I'll have to check in in about 90 minutes. My flight is seven in the morning and it's three in the morning right now. So I gotta wait a little bit before I can actually go inside. So I came here to one of my favorite places ever, T Junction. You know, I've visited Kolkata three times, traveled through here three times, came from Chennai to Kolkata and then to Medabad once. And then I came here and then went to Asa Meghalaya once. So my third time, and I always stop at this place. Right when you exit, right here, T Junction, get some ginger chai. Mmm, frothy, milky. Oh, my friends, very good. It's very good, but it's hot. It's like boiling. Mmm, 
Uh, it's one of my favorite things in India. This one's like 140 rupees. So whatever that is right now, like two bucks for a big one. It's two dollars. So once I'm done with my chai, I'm gonna go to Bhutan Air, check in, put my bags through, and go inside and then eat some doses. I'm really hoping my favorite spot is open because they have some of the best doses ever. Doses, doses, doses. Oh, we're going to Chani. Can't wait. So Indian food all day. Oh. Hey, thank you. Okay, let's go check in to Bhutan Air. Bhutan Air. Like I said before, there's only two airlines that fly to Bhutan. Bhutan Air and Druk Air. Woo! And here we go, breakfast is served. Oh, so once I checked in, went through security, came here to the left and there's three different places. There's Womomo, Italy.com, which is like veg, pure veg and then Briani Bai. Unfortunately, the Italy.com doesn't have any doses right now because it's so early in the morning. I think it's right now, I think it's like five in the morning, so it's too early. Um, you know, obviously got hand sanitizer because I'm gonna grab this with my hands. So, oh, I can't wait. So we got some sandbar, some coconut chutney. Oh, I love it. Italy, so Italy, if you guys don't know, is steamed rice. And here we have, oh, delicious. So we got the mint chutney, here with coconut chutney. Mm. Oh, just let it absorb it. I love it. Soft. The lid itself is a little bland, but when you mix it with different chutneys and sandbar, phenomenal. Mm hmm Love the sandbar. Oh, just drench it. I mean, I'm missing the dosa, but it is good enough. Mm-hmm. Just dip it. Let's go all out with the coconut chani. And this one, the mint one, is pretty good. A little spicy, not so bad. What's gonna do is do both. I can't get enough of it. And the reason I went with the Italy over the momos at Wo Momo is because I'm gonna eat so many momos in Bhutan. Mm-hmm. I didn't show you guys, but basically today, I've only eaten Indian food. Two meals on the flight with Qatar Airways, you know, the first one, Indian food the whole way. And so for the sandbar, let's go in. Mmm, drink another soup. It's so spicy. Mmm, I'll do like get some of this. Mix it with this. Mm-hmm. I could drink this. So for 300 rupees, I got the Italy chutney, sandbars, and filtered coffee from Karnataka. Mmm, super strong. It tastes very similar to the chai I had earlier, but a little different. Obviously, this is coffee, this isn't tea, but you know, it's good, it's good. So we're gonna board soon. I'm at gate eight, which is over there. As you can see, no one's here. And my flight, it's a little different because the flight is actually coming from Bangkok. So they come, they pull up, we get in, and they keep going because there's already passengers on that flight. And yeah, it's only an hour, hour and 45 minutes to set. I thought it was an hour, but it's an hour 45. Probably gonna crash and wake up when we're getting there because he said once you get to Bhutan, you can actually see Everest. Amazing. And we're gonna land in the most dangerous airport in the world to land in, so that's exciting. All right, guys, let's go to the gate and let's board this flight. After 27 hours of traveling, I'm finally on my last flight to Bhutan. Three flights to get here, a day and a half of traveling, crazy. And yeah, this is Bhutan Airlines. You know, as soon as the plane arrived, it came from Bangkok, so it pulled up. It was like 12 of us, we all got on, boarded the flight, and that's it. I have an entire order myself, and this window, the left window, is the window you need to get, because from here you can see Mount Everest. Once we were like, uh, like 40 minutes in, you'll be able to see Mount Everest. That's super, super cool. I've never seen Everest, so I'm excited. And yeah, Bhutan, here we go, 77th country, can't wait. Let's go to Bhutan. So I thought the flight was like an hour and a half, but it's actually 50 minutes. Really, really short flight. And they do serve a quick snack and some juice and water. So we got some apple juice. This is apple juice from Bhutan. Okay, apple juice. It tastes just like apple juice. Okay, so I guess I'll try this 
sandwich. I'm a little hungry. So they only have vegetarian options right now. Guys, we arrived in Bhutan. Wow, what an epic, epic journey. And it's 45 degrees Fahrenheit right now, freezing Bhutan Airlines. What an epic flight. What a long day, what a long day. 30 plus hours to get here. I'm so excited because I'm gonna be exploring Bhutan for the next 10 days with my Bhutan. This is gonna be just an epic trip. I've been dreaming about this trip my entire life. Guys, I am so excited. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Bhutan. Yes, let's do it.